overview of searching for suppliers. So for many procurement activities you must identify the suppliers with whom you want to deal with and the supplier search page provides you with flexible tools for conducting detailed searches using supplier attributes. So the supplier search includes the basic criteria as well as the advanced criteria using which you can do the search. On the supplier search page you choose the supplier attribute you wish to search for and then provide the attribute values for your search. The more attributes you choose obviously the more restrictive the data search would be. You must specify values for at least one of the fields identified by double asterisks and you use the information in the table to decide which attributes to include in your search. So I'm going to take you through Oracle Fusion Cloud specifically the supplier management role and within that let's explore this search. Alright here I am logged in as Kelvin Roth the procurement manager and you can either go from procurement via the springboard and then go to suppliers role. Alternatively you can go via the main menu from the navigator like this and then go to procurement and then suppliers. It's pretty much the same thing. Now here you see we have reached the overview section of uh, the suppliers and this is where it's going to show us the supplier spend authorization requests, the various business classifications that have been uh, expiring or already expired or any suppliers with incomplete setup. Those will be alerted any profile change requests coming from the supplier which is pending for approval from the supplier management administrator. Okay, so this is basically overview or sort of a dashboard for supplier management. Now to go to the search you simply go to that task menu and then go to manage suppliers. And within manage supplier here you can see you've got a simple keyword search or alternatively an advanced search. So for example if I start with the keyword say something like Dell and then hit the search button. then you see I got Dell Inc as the supplier which has come out and I can click on this particular record and then go for more information um, like a view only mode or alternatively I can use this pencil icon to edit the supplier profile okay now that's one way of searching it the other way of searching it is via the advanced search wherein you go like this click on that advanced button and here you've got multiple criteria for search which includes the supplier name, taxpayer ID, tax registration number, creation date and it's a date range. Then you've got the supplier type here. So if at all you've categorized your supplier as one of these, you can also do that. You can also use various other tax attributes like in tax organization type to um, filter your search criteria. You can also search with uh, different business classifications. I'm sure you would have given some sort of business classification to the supplier if at all is one of these then you can filter them out or by products and services if at all you have associated your products and services for the supplier and you see for example if you have supplier types say something like garment and then you hit the search button then it's going to come up with a number of records at the bottom and you see the uh, two asterisks given out here and these are mandatory and any one of these you must provide as a part of this search okay so nothing has come up see like manufacturing it comes up a number of time the supplier type field in the supplier profile is uh, left so that could be the reason why it's not coming you can leave it and you can give some other criteria say business classification if it's like a small business try with this one you see you've got now two suppliers which are categorized as small business in their organization and you see you can do a actions and then export to excel something like this and this will be exported to an excel file you can open this like this 
and this will have the criteria which is shown there on the screen not all the profile of the supplier but only those two records in summary form will be displayed just like this okay and uh, now that you have done the advanced search what you can also do it is you can add more fields something like this say the fields which are not there something like inactive date if you wish to search by suppliers which have been inactivated in the recent past or for example any registry ID of that supplier if you know that registry ID you can give that or anything else for example business relationship okay so you've added you see these many fields you don't want to do that again and again so to to save what you have added you can simply use this save button to save this particular search criteria you can give say something like custom advanced search with additional field something like this you can set it as default or alternatively you can run it automatically I'm gonna leave it just like that I'm not gonna check these and then I have saved it so next time when you come over here in the saved search it will be there so let's see if I click on done and then I'm gonna go back to manage suppliers and I'm gonna look at the saved searches and I will find one of those saved searches as something that I have just saved so I'm gonna go back to manage suppliers form and you look at the saved searches you see custom advanced search with additional fields and you see automatically it has come up now it includes the additional fields such as what we have given inactive date or the supplier business relationship or anything else and you can search by those criteria so basically this is the concept of uh, search basic search and advanced search you can always switch back to the basic search something like this okay and now I'm gonna take you through a number of business scenarios and wherein we will just apply these search criteria to understand more about the search in supplier management Thank you.